Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to easily create an animated GIF from an image sequence. We will be using GIMP 2.8. GIMP is a powerful graphics editing program you can download freely. For the example, I'll be using a looping image sequence I created with Blender, another free program for 3D modeling and animating. In the description below, you will find the links to GIMP, Blender, and my image sequence. Before we go on, I would like to share some information about color resolution. Today's computer screens offer 24-bit color depth, that is 8 bits per primary color, which means that for a single pixel we have 256 levels of red, green and blue, or in other words 16.7 million possible colors. In 32-bit color, 8 more bits are used for transparency. Now, GIF, which stands for Graphics Interchange Format also pronounced GIF, is an outdated image format, which supports only 8-bit color, that is 256 colors per image block. Fortunately each of the 256 colors can address a corresponding color from a much larger palette, by a process called indexing. In this example we can see the original image, then the same converted to GIF with no indexing, then the same with indexed colors. An additional process called dithering, may also improve the apparent color depth by distributing the existing colors in clusters, forming new ones when viewed from a distance. So, let's start by running GIMP. Go to File. Open as Layers. Browse for the folder containing your images. Select all by typing Ctrl plus A. Now wait until all images are scanned and opened. This may take a few seconds. Now go to Menu. Image. Mode. Indexed. Generate Optimum Palette. Set Color Dithering to Floyd Steinberg, Normal. Dithering may not be always necessary, you will need it. If your images have color gradients, now click on Convert. Wait until processing is done. You will see a green progress bar below. I will skip part of this process. Until now, we have been optimizing GIF's image quality, but there is another very important property we should also care about, which is the file size, especially if we are going to upload the GIF to the web. Very often there will be areas of our GIF images that don't change throughout the animation frames and thus needn't be cloned on everyone. Go to Menu. Filters. Animation. Optimize for GIF. When processing completes, you will see on the layer thumbnails, that an alpha or transparency channel was added to all images. These will be later combined with the background image which is common to all layers. In this example, the file size was reduced nearly 50% by this process. Now, go to File. Export as. Type the path and name you choose for the file and add the extension, GIF. Enter. This will open an export as GIF window. On this window uncheck the GIF comment box. Check the as animation box. Check the loop forever box. Set the delay between frames to a suitable value. 50 milliseconds will give a frame rate of approximately 20 frames per second. Check the use delay entered above for all frames. Leave the use disposal box unchecked. Now, finally, click on export. Once completed, you will finally have your animated GIF image file ready for viewing or uploading. If you need different delays between frames, then reopen the GIF file with GIMP, and click on the Layers tab. You will see the name of each image, with a value in milliseconds at the right side. Edit these values, and overwrite the GIF file typing Ctrl plus E. On this tab, you may also change the order of the images by dragging them up or down. Well, this is all for now, and thanks for watching this video.
If you found it useful, please like, share, and comment.